I think one of the best things that you can do to encourage children and youth to be involved in science is giving them hands-on opportunities. The students out of Brooks High School were involved in a beach cleanup and they ended up finding one of these drifter devices that had information linking it back to fisheries and oceans. And so it basically organically came about that there was this opportunity to share some of DFO's science and to take the students out to launch a device of their own that they would be able to track. The more I can get those kids outside, um, get their hands dirty, get them applying that, that theory, then they get a little more of a global, local perspective on what they're learning and applying it. So the device they found is something we, we call, formally call the surface circulation tracker. We also informally call it a SpongeBob. What's a SpongeBob? Well, it's a drifter. You toss it in the ocean and it moves with the water. The basic application is anything where you actually want to know how far or how fast something's going to move at the surface of the ocean. But really what I want to know is where'd the water, if you're out there, where'd the water come from and where's it going? With today's activities with students, my version of success for the SpongeBob is to actually get the students really engaged and interested in this kind of thing. I think it was really eye-opening, like seeing what, like the work that goes behind this that no one sees. It's really cool to see. Yeah, and I'm definitely considering something to do with the ocean. I don't know really what I want to do, but I think definitely something ocean related. So it was a wonderful experience and then that just became sort of science in action and it was, uh, it was a bit of a beautiful thing.